Hi everyone. Well, you know me, I'll make a use of anything. And so I've got some stick pins here that Marlene, that's uh, Memories Crafted, sent me. Well, I bought them, but she sent them to me. And what I've been doing is I've been making some stick pins, but using some of the flowers and, and bits people have given me. Now, um, if you remember, I got these sent to me the other day, and this was from, uh, I think it was Gloria. And um, <laughs> just, I was figuring what to do with them, but I came up with something. So first of all, I'll show you this one. I'm not sure if you can see that. Wait a minute, let's see if we can get it in focus. Might need something behind it. Let's just have a look at this, see if you can see it on that. Nope. Wait a minute, wait a minute, I will find something. Um, let me just see if I can use this lid. Oops, wait a minute. Chop this off. Just let me see. Can you see what I've done? <laughs> I've used the bottom of the flower. I've put the polystyrene ball, the wings, onto the stick pin. And I've come up with that. Right? So that's one way of using those, Gloria. I, um, I think it was Gloria, so forgive me if it wasn't. I then thought, well, I do need to use these pins, so I've come up with this. I use the top of the flower, oh, one of the little flowers that I've got. Putting the butterfly underneath and the flower under the stick pin. I will be adding a bead to that one, needs another bead. And then I do have some of these, they're like little asters. See? Really, really small flowers. Lots of petals. And I thought, oh, I can do something with them. So I've come up with this. Using a, a silver and black bead, threading the stick pin through the flower and then adding the bead to it. And that makes a different one, doesn't it? So it's, it is a round bead. And I like that. It's different. I haven't seen anybody using flowers for the stick pins. Here's one with a butterfly on. Little gold butterfly using the aster flower. And they look really, really pretty. Really pretty. I've done a couple of those. But um, see if you can see these. See? All different things. All different ways of using what you've got. So I have lots of these little flowers. And um, I just wanted to make stick pins that were different. Because you know me, that's what I'm like. Wait a minute, see if I can... Not sure if you can see those properly. But I like them with the flowers. I think they look cute. Look at the top of them. <laughs> but uh, so I have found one way of using these little balls. There's another one. Mm, they look really cute. I mean, I can colour them as well. I've just tried using them. See what they look like. Right, so that's those. And uh, I'm going to be finishing them off later. Um, now, what else have I got? Oops, put my lid back on those. So I will be doing some more shortly. And where's the lid for that? Lost the lid. There it is. And what I'm going to show you next, do you remember the butterflies? Right. So I'm going to quickly show you how to do this one. Get the colours out. Oh, wrong one. Um, 
hopefully I'll have time to do this. So I took the dark purple one first. And I hope you're watching. I hope you can see. Might not have time, so I might come back and finish this one. Because I'd already painted it black. I just rubbed this straight on. So I'm just colouring the inside um, of the wings. One side does look a bit bumpy and that's because if you remember I'd already coloured it or painted it and then uh, used the stickles and um, I changed my mind when I did the other one. I thought oh no I like, the, I like that both to be the same. So that's why I changed my mind. Right, so we've got the per uh, maroony red on. Um, just wipe my finger. Wash it and wipe it, should I say. Um, now it's the silver. And then just blend that in. It's really, really easy and simple to do. And you could do this with... Um, you know, one of the cardboard cutouts, die cut cutouts, or whatever, you could just blend that in and then go over that with a bit more of the silver. But don't blend that in, keep that as uh, silver as you can. Just go over that bit there. There you go, so we've got that far. Yeah, might need to do a bit more silver on that. Don't forget that, like I say, there is two textures to it because of I painted it earlier. But um, and then I'm going to do the um, gold on these. Oops, doesn't matter if you go over that by accident because you can take it off. No, oh, I want to try and get it done all in this. I'm not going to, I don't think. I don't think I'm going to get it done. No, we've got the gold on. Might get it just eight. I've got two minutes. Then I'm going to do the blue. Oh, come on, please finish it. <laughs> I just want to sh so you can see what it's going to be like. And then when I do the next video, I'll, I'll glimmer this beforehand and and put it on. I'm not doing a second one to this, but I mean, whatever I do next. Right, so that's done. See? Look at that. It's absolutely stunning. Um, and then the bronze, gold, whatever. Can we have a bit of green, I think? Right, it's going to go off shortly. A little bit of green around there that and then I'm going to go back to the gold and stick some gold in here just so you can see and then on top of that I'm going to add some silver to blend in I'm quickly 9.15 just go back to the blue to rub that back in just to blend it all in and there you go. And all I need to do now is to stickle that. Isn't that gorgeous? Really is. I love it. Absolutely love it. And when I've stickled it, I did put the gold on there, so I'm going to go back and put some more gold on it. It's going to go off, ladies, but um, like I say, it's done. I hope you like it. I will show you it like on another video like I've said.